Hi guys, it's your boy Loco Banana, and today I'm gonna show you how to enable DLSS 4.5 on your games. As a sample game, we have Witcher 3 here on the screen, and currently I'm on 1440p Ultra RT settings on DLSS performance. Now, I believe DLSS 3 is being used by Witcher. If you're gonna check the trees, they're quite blurry, not that much sharp. And if I move, there'll be a lot of blurring everywhere on the foliage. Although that doesn't much concern me at all. I can play it like this. And as you can check our FPS with this DLSS version, we're getting 67 to 70. Now, let me teach you how to use DLSS 4.5 on any game. First, you need to go to your NVIDIA app. Update your drivers. Just go to drivers, select what driver you're using. I'm using Studio Driver because I'm editing videos. But if you're only using games, Game Ready Driver is the best option. And just click update or install, whichever that's said here. And then after that, we need to also go to settings, about, and then click up and to access beta or experimental features. This will enable us to choose which DLSS version are we gonna use per game so we need to click on graphics select the game that we would like to put on DLSS 4.5 but if the game is not showing here you can manually add your game just click add a program or you can add a scan location if somehow your steam library is not being shown here just add the location of where your steam apps are like this one select folder and it should read all your games on steam same with epic or any other launchers that you use anyway back to the game click on the game and then you just need to go down dlss override model presets click on that click on custom and on super resolution you need to click on preset m if you're using 1080p or 1440p because this is dlss 4.5 M and L. Preset L of DLSS 4.5 is mainly used for 4K on ultra performance DLSS. But since I'm only using 1440p, I'll choose preset M. So if you are on 4K, you want ultra performance DLSS, just click on L. But for us, rest of the guys who can't buy a 4K monitor, we're gonna use M. Once that's done, you just need to launch your game again. Okay, now we're back in the game. And as you can see, our FPS went down to 50, so DLSS 4.5 really takes a toll on performance. But I can reassure you, everything's much crispier. It's, it's really just sharper, guys. I love it. It feels native for me. Now, if we move, there will be lesser blur on the foliage. And I do see that there's lesser blur on the foliage on those trees even on the grass there are still a bit but it's really that not noticeable anymore and the game just feels much more sharper it really feels like native guys and i think it is worth it even though it's more taxing on the gpu anyway guys what do you think do you think dlss 4.5 is worth it for you let me know in the comments and if this video helped you, subscribe so you'll be notified once we have new tutorial content and gaming content launched. I assure you, you're gonna love those videos. Check out my other videos too and see you in the next video. Bye guys!